Hello, welcome back to the Keg Tab. Today we're going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to go through my mash tun and what I use when I homebrew. Hope you enjoy. I use an Igloo Ice Cube cooler, 60 quart uh, rolling cooler. Um, as you see here, there's there's wheels on it. There's a, a handle so you can uh, you know pour it around. There goes my spigot. Now, what I did something uh, on the top here was something a little different. I cut a hole in it and I used that hole when I placed my uh, my carboy in here uh, with water. So here goes the inside. Down there is that my manifold made out of C PVC pipe. You can take it out here. It's all dry fit, so nothing's actually glued in. So you can take it out. And you see on the back there where I cut all the slits so that the that the wart can you know funnel through those these slits here. I don't know how many in there, there's just a lot. And there goes the inside there. And this is the back side of the top of the cooler, which gives me room for my carboy. All right, here goes the manifold. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart here, starting with the top. There again, everything is dry fit, so I can always take these apart to clean it. Let's speed through this here. All right, so there goes all the parts that I use. Now, um, when you're buying parts for this or when you build a manifold, make sure you use C PVC pipe. It is rated for hot, hot water. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, assemble it back together. And so I can show you how actually quickly, quickly and easy I can do this. Well, let's fix this. Yeah, let's make this nice and quick. Alright, so there it goes. I'm getting ready here to put the last piece on. And when you're making, when you're assembling this, make sure all the slits are on the bottom, are facing down towards the bottom of your cooler. And this is how it should look when it's fully inserted. Remember, everything is dry fit, so there's no glue or nothing involved, so you can take it off and clean it. Here's an outline of the pieces that you need to purchase for your spigot. Um, I used brass because that was what was really available for me at Home Depot. The two soft rubber gasket and the plastic gasket ring were already part of the cooler, so keep those. And this is what it should look like all assembled. Just to get back to what the hole is at the top, my uh, cooler serves a double duty. During the hot summer months, I'll put my carboy in there, as you see there in that picture, with some water and some ice packs and it'll maintain a certain temperature. Last summer, it was consistently over the 90s and we got a couple hundred days in there. My uh, carboy stayed cool with some water and some ice packs in there at about 70, you know, pretty much the whole time I, uh, I was fermenting. Okay, so there you have my cooler setup, my mash tun setup, which actually, as you were hearing before, it serves double duty um, as a temperature control for fermentation. So um, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll, sh I'll be sure to get back to you.